Hello and welcome to episode six. So in this episode, we're kicking off our vendor section and our first vendors are photographer and videographer. As mentioned previously in my other video, I kind of think they go hand in hand. So I just thought we'll just do one video with both of them together. So in our vendor section as well, we have all your suppliers. So from your cake to your flowers, to your venue, to apparel, it's all in there. So it is a really good section. And as we go through the video, you'll see how we've laid it out for you and how we've made it really easy for you. And there's also tips in there as well, because like I said, our planner is just not a diary. It's a guide. It's a how to plan your wedding planner. Does that make sense? So that's quite funny. So we'll keep it that way. So like I said, if you're loving our videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and show me some love on our socials and everybody let's get started. So let's kick it off with the photographer. So you'll notice throughout all our planner we've got the same format is because it's easy it's easy to read and there's no confusion. So you always start with um, contact details so here's your photographer's contact details so you just basically slot those in then you'll have a tip page. Um, remembering that this is not an ordinary wedding planner this is an actually a guide a how to plan a wedding so we've added all this information to help you plan the perfect day so moving along ask your photographer the hours of coverage within the package so usually the photographer will have a certain amount of packages you can choose which one you want but make sure that you're choosing it your, the package is not based on price but on what you want confirm the number of photographers used on the day establish if the package includes unlimited photos so you can have a whole heap you can choose from if they are in high res and you could put them on a usb and if you could put them on a dvd as a slideshow also the size of the actual album usually go for about 20 um, images double-sided Ask if they had uh, the amount of enlargement prints. I had one massive one and two medium one in which I gave to each parent. And speaking of parents, ask them if the package includes two parent albums, which they usually do. And the parent albums probably would be about 10 images and, and usually they'll allow them to choose what they want. And also discuss with the photographer the locations you want in advance to secure access my suggestion is when you're doing your scout locations for your venue and your um your ceremony, have a look around to see if there's any locations you really like to take your photos because you don't want to be too far away from the actual um, venue because you don't want to run late, keep your guests waiting, and you don't want to have that stress. What we recommend of the actual photos to include on the day is your bride and groom preparation. And I love these ones because these are so emotional and they're so raw and and I just love them. And you just, yeah, they're the best. Um, ceremony, the photo shoot, the reception, so cutting of the cake, first dance, speeches, and farewell. Again, this will determine on the package that you've used and your budget. Speaking of budgets, this is your budget table. So you've got your pre-wedding photos, which is usually you save your dates. And then you've got the wedding photos. So this is pretty basic budget, very straightforward. And you can just do all your adjustments by using um, these options. And again, I always use Adobe Pro DC because I just find it's really easy to navigate. And it's just, it's just my favorite. And there's your to-do list. Moving down to the videographer, again, there's your contact details and we're going on to the tip page. So when in discussions with the videographer, ensure that you receive the desired um, hours of coverage. Again, they will have different options and different payments and different packages. So don't go based by price all the time and ask them if they can actually alter it and be a bit flexible on the hours. Make sure that the footage is in high resolution the um there's a full length video as well so you can see the hot that you can get a whole the full live video from start to finish um if the, there's a digital file that is downloadable on a usb drive um the format um if they can format it as a dvd as a slideshow so the slideshow roughly runs around about two to three minutes 
Um, and if you want to upload it online that you can do that and have different highlights and effects and just make sure if they can create that for you if that's extra. And also with videographers, they work really well if you've got a fixed price. So and that's also great for your budget. Again, we have your budget table and we've added the pre-wedding video. Not many people have it, but there's certain cultures and traditions that do have pre-wedding wedding, um, celebrations and they like to have those filmed as well. So we've added that in and also the day of and you just do all your little totals there. So they're quite basic um, budget tables and again, your to-do list. What we have here as well is for the couples that are going to create their own planner using the separates. All I've done is just added a cover page, but the content is exactly the same. And this one here is the videographer. So again, you've got a cover page and yet again, the content is the same. In our next episode, we are going to be focusing on actual venues. So this is going to be quite of a gutsy episode because in the planner, we have packed so much information to help you um, choosing whether you're going to go for a reception or an, a marquee. It's got everything in that planner for you. So that's next week's episode. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow us on our socials. And I'd like to thank you for letting me be part of your wedding planning process. And until next time, happy planning. Bye.